guys, my name is Crystal and welcome to my YouTube channel. Alexa, what's the time please? The time is 10.53 a.m. It's 10.53 a.m. And the parts from the builders making a racket down the end. It has been really a lovely quiet Sunday morning, the parts from builders drilling down the bottom. I've managed to do a bit of washing and write a portion of my diary from what happened yesterday, which I'm doing now. And as I was writing my diary, it started to get noisy upstairs. I mean, no one can read what I'm writing, surely. 14th of May 2022, 10.29am, my mother Jennifer's birthday today, she is 76 years old. Woohoo! I did not realise it was Friday the 13th yesterday. Wow, I went out as well. <laughs> I didn't realise it was Friday the 13th. We shall start with yesterday, shall we? And it goes on and on. And as I was progressively writing, it started to get terribly noisy upstairs. And the phone went. Now, you heard my mum say she wanted to spend her birthday by herself. So my mother's wrong again, the dogs have been up, up barking opposite, the two pug dogs have been going off. Right. So let's see what my mother wants, shall we? Mother's called again. Someone is going to take me to get my prescription next week. Okay, so I want to stay in the store and relax and rest. It's nice and sunny here. So again it sounds like you're trapped in the middle of the building side and you want to sit down and relax and have the sunshine on you, you see. And I don't see the need why my mother needs to keep ringing. I don't, honestly. <coughs> Again, call me Janestra. There were dogs barking and the various other, you know, nuisance things that go on after my mother found me. Why can't I just be left alone to sit in my flat in peace? I don't know. I really don't understand that. It's not my birthday, right? I don't want to go to the shops and buy crap that gets stored in my flat and then thrown in the bin because it's inferior quality and it breaks apart. Just leave me alone. I've got enough money. I'm going to cook my dinner later on. The post is going to come. Whether I get any or not, it doesn't matter. Then I'm going to take Max out for a walk. You know, it's sunny outside. Why don't other people go out to the seaside, you know? Go out to the shops with all the lovely people in there bashing into 
you when you don't feel well? Why has it always got to be me that has to make a fool of myself and be taking the piss out of? Let someone else have the privilege today, thank you. Right, and I said I didn't realise it was Friday, but it was the 13th yesterday. Um, I got the Daily Star from Morrison's Garage yesterday. I am happy with myself. If other people aren't happy with me, it's not their business. Go and find something else to do. Right, I want you to read this piece, piece in the Daily Star. That's a blinking miracle. Caught his eyes resurrected by Aaron Tinney. Death may be reversible, say scientists, who brought a corpse's eyes back to life. Experts were able to resurrect eyes harvested from an organ donor by firing up neurons in the retina five hours after the donor died. They witnessed them sending signals resembling those recorded from living subjects and said their work raises the question of whether brain death is truly irreversible. Research lead author Dr. Fatima Abbas, Fatima Abbas, from the Moran Eye Centre at the University of Utah, said, We were able to wake up photoreceptor cells in the human macula, which is a part of the retina responsible for our central vision and our ability to see fine detail and colour. In eyes obtained up to five hours after an organ donor's death, these cells responded to bright lights, coloured lights, and even very dim flashes of light. Dr. Franz Winberg, also from the University of Utah, added, We were able to make the retinal cells talk to each other the way they do in the living eye. This has never been achieved in the macula, and never to the extent we have now demonstrated. <laughs> the new development will bring joy to billionaires including Amazon's Jeff Be Bezos, 58, who have been pouring millions of dollars into immortality research. Simon Cowell, 62, has also been obsessed with living forever, but he pulled out of his plan to have his body cryogenically frozen after he learned it involved having his head removed from his body. Interesting news, that. But it will never happen. Immortality will never happen. It will just won't. Even if you do have your head cut off, it won't. <laughs> you, will, you will never be immortal. We are mortal, we die. And that's the end of it. So it's best to make the most of your life, not irritate and upset other people and get on with it because life is short. See you later.